All right, today we are going to do a review for our map, which is coming up next week. So the questions are going to be from every different category that we've covered so far this year. Are you two ready? We have Francisco and Jesse helping us today. Um, I'm going to tell you a word, and I want you to tell me the part of speech. It could be a noun, a verb, or an adjective, or it could even be both of those things. So, um, your first word is rabbit. What's rabbit? One, two, three. Rabbit is a noun because it's an animal. Oh, we forgot tissues. I'll go grab us tissues. There you go. Okay, your next word is eating. Eating. One, two, three. It's a verb because it is something that you do. Very good. Next word is pink. Pink. Where it's a little bit challenging to spell, just do the best you can. One, two, three. I tried my best. You did try your best. Okay. So you basically remember how to spell it. Do you know how to say the word? Adjective. Adjective. And if you want to know how to spell it, that's how you spell it. All the colors are adjectives. Do you remember what else is always an adjective? Numbers. Numbers. Ah, oh, you remember a lot from third grade. That's good. We still do it. That's good. I'm glad I had that too. Um, here's your next word. Now we're going to get into the challenges where it could be more than one thing. The word is left. Left. Okay. You could abbreviate it. One, two, three. So both my boys figured out this an adjective. It's lunchtime, there's people being obnoxious outside. <laughs> um, but what if I say Jesse left? That's something that he would do, and so that would be a verb. So it could be an adjective or a verb. Thinking of as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a word and I want you to write a synonym. That's a word that means the same thing. You ready? Um small. So the word is small, you write me a word that means the same thing. One, two, three, flip. Oh, we all came up with the same <laughs> word, tiny. All right, go ahead and erase that. There's so many small words that we just Little, yeah. miniature. Those are doing good ones too. Um, I would like a synonym for delicious. A synonym for delicious. So you have scrumptious, you have yummy. <laughs> I have scrumptious, yummy, and tasty. So we all have many synonyms. Go ahead, Risa, and this time we're gonna switch gears. I want an antonym for the word that I tell you. I like the antonym for sweet. Sweet. What's the antonym for sweet? This is what I, that's what I mostly eat. But the opposite. Yeah. I used to make my face go weird. 
One, two, three. Oh, you have disgusting. The actual opposite of sweet is going to be sour. Mm -hmm. So think about, you said I was thinking your like face. The feeling. Yeah, that's yeah. true. One time, when you eat like a lemon or something sour. One time there's like this little candy. Mm -hmm. and it was made, I think it was made in Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, my mom bought it. And when, the first time I tasted it, uh, my face was like this. Like, <laughs> was it sour? Yeah, it was really sour. All right, so here's your next word. This word is candy. What I actually want you to do, this is singular. I like you to write for me the plural on your board. So this is if I had one, but what if I had more than one? How would you spell that? One, two, three, flip them. Candies? Good, candies. And I, what I like about yours, if you show it over there, he got rid of the Y and then he added I E S. Very good. Um, let's do just a few more. Uh, I'm going to uh, say a sentence, and one of the words has a prefix. I want you to write down the word that has a prefix. You ready? Okay, um, we need to review for the map test. We need to review for the map test. Which of those words has a prefix? All right, one, two, three, flip them. Okay, very good. Um, now I want you to underline the prefix. What was the prefix? Go ahead and show. So what Francisco underlined was the R-E. And Jesse, do you know what it means when we add R-E to the beginning of a base word? Uh, I forgot because it's been a year since I was in this class. I think I know. What do you think? When you do it again. Yeah, it's basically when you do it again. So if you review the information, it means you're going to view the information again. Okay, next I'm going to show you sentence. And one of the words will have a suffix. And I want you to write down the word that has a suffix. Um, we were careful when we crossed the street. We were careful when we crossed the street. at the end of a base word. I remember what it is, but I don't remember. Well, it says F-U-L, and that kind of sounds like full. Does that give you a clue? Oh, like the hands full of pop? No. It's like if you're full of joy. Exactly. So if you were joyful, you'd be full of joy. If you're careful, that means you're full of care. If you have a handful of something, that means your hand is full of whatever you grabbed. So pretty good stuff. Um, what I uh, would like to do is I'd like to have you guys and whatever other fourth graders want to come back. We'll do another one of these videos next week, but we'll do it for math. Good job. Thanks. Wave goodbye. Bye. See you next time. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah.